Hi, I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. In this video, I'm going to show you how to record an acoustic guitar with only one large diaphragm microphone. So let's get to it. So microphone wise, we're going to be using this Townsend Lab Sphere. And what this microphone does is it models a lot of different microphones. And the setting we're going to be using for this particular recording is this, which is a U67. But it doesn't matter if you haven't got one of these microphones, you can basically use any microphone that you've got. It doesn't matter if it's a SM58, SM57, the principles are gonna work exactly the same way. Okay, so we've got our microphone plugged in. Now, the next thing we need to do is to set up our preamps. So for this video, I'm gonna be using uh, Universal Audio Apollo. So we're gonna be using the inbuilt preamps that are on this, as I know a lot of people use Apollos. So let's have a look here. So the first thing we're gonna do is to set our high pass filter. So I'm gonna push this button here. And if you look at this, it's, there it is. So what this is basically showing is that there's a roll off on the bottom end. Now, because it's a high pass filter, it's a very steep roll off. And for me, that's how I like to record acoustic guitars. The next thing we need to do, as it's a large diaphragm condenser, now you need to check this, is to switch on our phantom power, which is the plus 48 volts. Now, let me show you some other preamps as well. If we go down here, I can show you some different preamps. Now, sometimes the high pass filter says HPF, as you'll see on this preamp here. So I could push that in there. Or on this preamp here, it's that button there, which is the same symbol as what's on the Apollo. Okay, so now we've got our preamp set up. So one of the big mistakes that people tend to make is recording with a large diaphragm condenser mic and recording on axis with the sound hole. So if we do that, we end up getting a sound like this. Which is absolutely fine, but if you want a guitar to sit in the mix properly, the ideal way is to get a combination of the top of the guitar, which is where you're going to get all the string noise and the treble, and the bottom of the guitar, which is where you're going to get all the bottom and the resonance. So if we record, say, around the 12th fret here, as you can see, we've got two dots. If we record around there, we get this sort of sound. Now let's move it back. So if you're using one microphone on a guitar, try and aim that microphone around the 12th fret. Now let's talk about distance as well. So distance wise, I'm about 12 inches now from the capsule of the microphone, which is about here, to my guitar, which is about here. So now if I move it closer, we're gonna get more of the body of the guitar and more of the string noise. And even less of the room. So we're getting a far more intimate sound the closer we are. Okay, so let's record two guitar parts now. What we're gonna do is to record the first take, which is gonna be on axis. So that's the capsule of the microphone over the sound hole. Now I'm gonna keep it about 12 inches away again. And the second take, I'm gonna record off axis. So I'm gonna record the capsule of the microphone on the 12th fret of the guitar. Okay, now let's move the guitar off axis. So now we're gonna record the guitar how I like to record.
I'm Paul from the Studio Rats. I hope you guys got something out of that. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe and push that little bell button down there and you'll be notified of any future videos that come out from the Studio Rats. And I'll see you next time. Cheers.